Jane, are you keeping on your summer holiday or just your holidays in general when we're around the family and those dynamics are playing out? My name is Zoe Whitehead and I'm the founder of The Whisper Tree. I go into schools and I do mindfulness training, meditation, visualisation visualization for children that are struggling with those strong emotions. I also have one-to-one -one clients. I run energy, high, high vibrational energy on my clients. And I also have workshops for parents and for adults, meditation workshops. And um, I, I, I take aspects of spirituality and we often discuss those in our workshops as well. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to keep sane when on holiday, because often we find ourselves with other members of the family and it, it is can be quite intense because family do trigger us, members of the family do trigger us. And let's talk to you a little bit about how we can help ourselves when we're feeling triggered and when we're feeling those dynamics playing out within the family. So holiday periods, although lovely and can be very relaxing, can sometimes be quite stressful for some of us. And I think we need to recognise those signs of when we're getting triggered because we don't want to be projecting out. And what I mean by that is, you know, kind of blaming others when we're getting triggered. You know, we're feeling that negativity, those more dense emotions. And we're kind of blaming, blaming others, lashing out. And then it kind of becomes a vicious circle because then they become upset and it goes on. And before we know it, we're in kind of an energy play, what I like to call an energy play, when we're, we're battling, you know, with each other. So it's, I think the first thing to do when, when we notice that we're being triggered is to, is to be aware of that and think, okay, I'm getting triggered, I'm not feeling good here, but rather than taking that habitual step of projecting out, of blaming whoever it was that you felt made you angry, you need to own that, you need to own that, that feeling for yourself because you're the, okay, they triggered, they triggered that feeling, but you're the one that has the anger. They're probably completely unaware of what's going on. Um, but if you can manage not to lash out and just sit with it, just a little bit, and then you'll stop that negative cycle of projection an energy play that can so often play out um, among family members, especially on holidays, especially on holidays, I, I always think anyway. So, you know, it's firstly about being aware of how we're feeling and just then secondly, owning that feeling for yourself. You know, this is your anger, this is your upset. It doesn't matter who or whatever, you know, whatever they said, whoever said whatever they did say, that doesn't matter, the point is, you're the one getting angry. You need to own it so that you can let go because lashing out is just going to then make you feel guilty and it's just going to go on and on. And, you know, and these things often become unresol unresolvable or can be to the extreme cases. You know, we don't want to be in that victim mentality. It does no one any good whatsoever. So once you feel yourself triggered or getting triggered, then just move away. Just take yourself away. And you just kind of center yourself, you know, you just kind of go inwards a little bit and just allow yourself to feel that negativity, allow yourself to feel that upset, that anger, whatever it is, and it will dissipate because you are, you know, being the bigger man about this or the bigger woman, you know, you're, you are going to take that responsibility, you're going to own it, and you're going to set the intent to release it. And that is hugely, hugely empowering. Once we start taking and getting into that habit of doing that, it really, really helps. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment or share. And remember, I'm posting every week with advice on how to kind of help yourself in a more spiritual way, in, in a kind of a higher consciousness way. And I'm also posting up for adults um, par or parents rather who have children whose children are struggling, you know, with those high and strong emotions. Um.